I'm just really proud of the team of proud of the team for the just taking care of business all weekend. Um, I thought they showed a ton of toughness. I thought they showed a ton of resilience um, and just stayed the course and, and found a way to get the job done. But just really, really proud. I thought Mary was um, very, very good today. Um, just staying the course when we uncharacteristically gave some runs away. It's just not what we do, but um, we had a chance to answer and, and, and they did that. So really, really proud of these two sitting next to me. Um, Gibb just looked good all day. And then Ryland to come through in that moment. That's it. That is the toughest role, um, in this sport. Um, and just to stay level in that moment and, and come through is just so huge. So I'm just really, really, really proud of Ryland. Courtney, what was it when you looked in the dugout and you were looking for a pinch hitter? What was it about Ryland that, that made you make that move? Well, Chip, honestly, I, um, if you would have the privilege of seeing her in practice every day, it would be a no-brainer to you, too. Um, she is an incredibly talented hitter, obviously really strong, um, but she's really level, as you can kind of hear her talk about it. Um, she's just does a really good job of just staying level in the moment, not making anything too big. Um, she was in our, our lineup early and, and she's, she's been just knocking on that all year. Um, so it, to, to us, it's a no brainer. We have a ton of confidence in Rylan. Um, she challenges Lenny, Casey, Gibby, um, the home runs and, and practice. And what she did really well in that at bat is control her zone. Um, and a lot of times you can go into that at bat and chase or just kind of get outside yourself. And that's not who Rylan is. Um, and, uh, she just, I mean, obviously came through for us today. Can you also go back and talk about the game that Mary had? I mean, you guys put up nine runs, but kind of lost in this. She pitched another really, really good game for you guys. Well, I thought she was really, really good today. Um, and I think we, we saw, um, we saw Mary when after those three runs, she just kind of dug in and, and she didn't flinch. Um, she just stayed the course, trusted herself. She trusts her defense. It's not like us to do that. Um, but she just trusts her stuff and trusts her defense. And um, I, I mean, she just flat fought for us today. So what I asked, uh, similar to what I asked the players, just uh, from your standpoint, what was the mood in the dugout uh, after Oregon came back to tie it up? And how nice was it to see your team kind of have those two instances of adversity against Oregon bounce back each time? Well, I actually felt like right after we gave them the three, there was, we were still on the field and there was kind of this, I mean, I, I know I was talking to Matt or Coach Michael and just kind of saying, I don't really like the vibe right now, you know, and, and, and Mary, Mary dug in and, and I, felt her vibe was fine, obviously, but I think everyone just kind of like the wind kind of got knocked out of our sails momentarily. Um, and so he's like, okay, I got him. And they came off and he refocused them, but you know, it doesn't take a ton to refocus this team. That's the nice thing. They just have a ton of confidence in themselves. And so, um, we just challenged them to answer, challenged them to, Hey, let's, let's get control of the game. Let's get control of our emotions. Um, and let's go to work. Um, and that's what they've done all year is anytime we've had some adversity, anytime we need to answer, they do so. Um, and that's what we saw them do today, today too. This is the second day in a row that you said that an assistant coach just had a word for the team that kind of, you know, regrouped them. Just how important are they to the team's success? Instrumental. Uh, I, I have an exceptional staff. Um, and one that we, we all have different strengths. Um, and we trust each other a ton. I trust them a ton. Um, and they just have a really good pulse on the team. And, and it takes, it, it, it takes different people every day. Um, and so they're ready to step up. They know what it takes to get the team refocused. And, um, I just, I, I think they're incredible. Two more questions for coach die for Jonathan. Asked this or someone else asked this earlier, but just to be able to be back next week and also in front of Vogel Park, just how, how amazing is that going to be for you guys? Well, it's it's awesome. I'm I'm obviously just really happy we're still playing. Um, this is a really fun team to coach, um, and I just want to coach them as long as we can. I want to watch them compete as long as we can. Um, I love that they've played us into a position to play in Vogel again um, in front of what I think is the best fan base in the country. The best, I know I've said this multiple times, it's the best atmosphere in college softball. Um, and so to get another weekend of that, I can't wait. Um, and I can't wait to watch this team compete again next weekend.
You guys have talked a lot a lot this season about how you guys' goal is to get to OKC. Mm -hmm. You guys' season last year ended in Super Regional. So now to know that you guys are now two wins away from kind of eclipsing that and getting to where you guys want to go, uh, do you think that this team will kind of have Super Regionals from last year in their mind this week? Or just what do you think the team's mindset will be this week, knowing that they're so close? Well, I think that they always kind of can draw on how much it hurt last year. Um, and, and they are a very focused team. Um, so I think that they have that in the back of their minds, but it's not a driving force for them. Um, they just do a really good job of staying present and competing. Um, and that's what we're going to continue to do. All right, coach. Congratulations. Thank you for your time. Got it. Did you have one more, Ethan? Go ahead. He's really going all the way back to the SEC, you know, championship in the tournament against Missouri has had a lot of strong at bats. Just what have you seen from her? Maybe change of approach, anything there? Well, I think that a lot of our veterans have taken her under their wing. Um, and, and that's what we need them to do. Um, you know, Casey is an incredibly talented hitter. Um, she has a hitter's mentality. Um, and I think that we had just small spurts of her just getting caught up in the highs and lows too much. Um, the lows more than the highs, uh, I should say. Um, and you see her having conversations with Gibby. She has conversations with KB, with Hannah. Um, and they do a really good job of just keeping her really level and just reminding her how dang good she is. Um, and, and I mean, she's incredibly talented. Partners at Bet Online continue to be the number one source for all your betting needs and sports info. Find all the latest sports developments, including updated odds on the NBA playoffs, fights, and even next season's futures. And don't forget that the MLB is back as well. Who are you picking to win the World Series? Bet Online is your continued source for all your sports wagering needs, including live betting and your favorite Vegas casino and poker games. It's super easy to get started. So, so head to the website today or use your mobile device to join and use our promo code BELIEVE, that's B-L-E-A-V, to receive your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online, where the game starts.